get ready to embark on an exhilarating journey filled with stunning landscapes, heart-pounding thrills and non-stop excitement as we take you with us to Genting Highlands right here in Malaysia. What does this place not have? Guys, there's even a zip line. Okay, so when you guys flooded the comments telling us to go to Genting Highlands, I did not think it was a theme park. I assumed it was what the Cameroon Highlands were. I thought it was like a tea plantation, and I basically thought they were the same thing in the same area. So I was very shocked when I Googled about Genting Highlands and found out exactly what it was. So I'm so excited to go and explore and take you guys along with us. All right, so we have arrived here at the Genting Highlands. We just need to get cable cart mm -hmm. to get to the actual place. It was actually way quicker. Like that bus ride was only one hour. Everything mm. online was saying two. But... So we're just going to check out the premium outlet first before we head over to the cable carts. This could be dangerous because Zara's an impulsive buyer. <laughs> There's actually loads of um, high-end brand here. So yeah, we're just going to walk around before we go. Like this? Okay. Uh, so we can see. The views is amazing guys. Oh my god. It's so high up. So we're so lucky guys because it's only actually reopened today. It's been under maintenance for two weeks. <laughs> and we only found out today. <laughs> yeah, so lucky. So we are just surrounded by the green rainforest and just mountainous landscapes. It just looks incredible. Wow. And look at the tower. Yeah, the temple. If that is the temple, it looks beautiful. Wow. It's like type of trees that I've not seen before as well. I guess we've never really mm. been in a rainforest before. So, so cool. All right guys, so we have made it at Chin Sui Temple and it looks absolutely beautiful. This temple is actually a Chinese temple and was founded by this brilliant man here right behind me, which is Dr. Lim Go Tong. Wow, and it is actually quite busy here. And good thing is, the sun's out. Yes, it looks so nice, guys. The design is so intricate, and it's so nice just seeing like the mist and the cloud yes. kind of like coming Open through. through yeah. It's just crazy. So I'm actually surprised just how big this is. There's so many different sections. Um, from looking online, I thought it was just this big tall temple here, but there's so much more to it than I thought. There's like a hall, there's a Buddha, there's like, what was it called? Hell chambers. Hell chambers. With all these statues that just look so good and all so interesting as well. They've all got different facial expressions. And what I love is the Chinese architecture. Like it's so bright, colorful, and just so intricate. I just love it. It's so nice. Wow. Wow, I think we're here. Sky Avenue. Ooh, let's go. Let's go, let's go. This place has everything. Whoa. This looks like we're in like the center of New York or something. Yes. Wow. It's literally like a city in the middle of the mountain. What does this place not have? Oh my God. It's got a casino, it's got a cinema, it's got a mall, loads of restaurants two theme parks, one indoor and outdoor. This right. place is literally out of this world. I think there's more as well, so, so excited to show you around and discover everything that we discover with us. Let's go. Wow. 
Okay, so the original plan was to not do the outside theme park because it's expensive. Um, it was about £25 mm. or 150 ringgit. So we were like, oh, we'll just do the indoor one instead because it's a lot cheaper. But we got here, didn't realise that the indoor theme park doesn't open until 2pm. So now we've decided to do the outdoor theme park instead of the indoor one. Uh, but it's way more expensive. So we've ended up paying 189 ringgit, which is about 34 pounds each. <laughs> if you book it online, it's actually 25 pounds each, but obviously it was a last minute decision. So if you want it cheaper, book it online. But yeah, we're doing it now. We're doing it, I'm so excited. Let's, let's go, go, let's go. Guys, so we have now entered Sky World and there's actually a Starbucks here. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. And it looks absolutely amazing. Everything is gold. I feel like we're in a palace. We're like walking along the red carpet. And oh my god, I oh my god. like the main theme park Ooh. going outside let's go, now. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. It's like we've entered a new world, a different dimension. Look. All right, so we just rented a locker for four hours, which costed us 20 ringgit because apparently you can't leave your stuff when you line up for the roller coasters. Yeah, because any other theme park we've done in other places, normally you just leave your bag when you get on the ride and then you pick it up after the ride. But here you have to rent a locker, but oh well. But anyway, we are here at the Ice Age area and it looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. per theme so we're gonna go on the one which is currently the longest way 30 yeah. minutes because it looks like it might be the best one and, it, well. and it's the biggest one as well yes i can't go. wait let's go let's go <laughs> I didn't expect that, especially right at the end, and then the water started spraying up, and then it just went pitch black. <laughs> oh, this is pretty. That's so good though. I think that's like one of the most, um, one of the popular rides here in this um, Skyrise Highlands. Anyway, let's go for the next one. facing and two back facing so we are backwards which i think made it scary you know because you didn't know when it was going to go high down oh, fast so yeah but it's so good this place is actually very family friendly there's even like a little park as well like a fun park it's also there's a lot of rides that are like good for adults but also good for kids at the same time which is good because i think at most theme parks it's either good for adults or good for kids mm. there's no like in between so that's pretty good and also guys there's an app if you download the app here it tells you all the waiting times and luckily everything's like five ten minutes the odd one is like 30. yeah on the so first good. on the first ride we had to like reserve one which is quite good as well because we basically we were like priority basically yeah so you can reserve i mean even now we can reserve even the five minute ones and get a little bit ahead yeah. but we're just walking in and it's still only five ten minutes so, so. quick there's lots of stuff going on actually. Luckily, like it is a Monday. Yes. So maybe that's why it's not as busy. So I'm not sure if it's like on the weekend, if it's if this place is actually packed. Leave a comment down below what you think. And if you are gonna visit this place, let us know as well because at the moment we're loving it. Yeah, it's I think it's better because there's no queues. Mm. I feel like if you were waiting two hours for these rides, you'd be a bit like, oh. 
but because like they're so quick and you can just do loads, it's actually really fun. And this place doesn't feel like right next to the mall. <laughs> yeah. It feels like we're in a different place. So cool. Because we've only ever been to like theme parks in the UK and they don't really have themes. No. They're literally just, you go there and it's just rides. You don't get all these buildings, mm. like different themes. Different characters as um, well. And then we did go to Universal Studios, which is our first ever kind of impression like that. But this is completely different. Yes. It's so cool. All right, so I'm just going to get on my hover car. Save the world. Save the world, actually, to beat these apes. All right, so that Planet of the Apes was actually quite cool. Thing is, like, we know it's not real, but we just kept Dodging. dodging yeah it was like 3d and all these like bullets i'd be dead honestly like they <laughs> they hit me in the face but um there's actually quite a lot of rides but mainly most of them are very child friendly yes like even the like adult ones so i'd say kids can literally do nearly every single mm. ride whereas adults it's like obviously very limited then maybe there's like five or six rides. Uh, there's a few that still aren't open. I think three are still like either under maintenance or coming soon. So maybe when they're open, it will be even better for the adults. Um, obviously, I feel like the kids can do some of the adult ones, but I feel like the adults don't want to do some of the really kiddie ones, you know? Yeah. So, but it's still really good. We've had a lot of fun, but we're probably going to get something to eat and then head back to the rest of the Gentian yeah. Highlands. But um, there's actually 19 rides overall at this place here on the outside theme park. But there's also a inside theme park, but I don't think we're going to be doing that. We'll just show you what it looks yeah. like because we ended up picking the outside one instead of the indoor one. But I think some of them 19, they're not all rides. Some of them are like playgrounds and things as well. So it's like 19 activities. Yeah. Genting Highlands is actually known for being expensive, but we managed to find a place that is quite affordable and we managed to buy two meals for only 33 ringgit, which is around six pounds. Not bad, very good for both of us. Yeah. For 33 ringgit, this is very good. That's for both. Quite big, yeah. It's a, it looks like katsu, no? Mm. It's like a Japanese katsu, but it's quite spicy. And we got a bowl of sweet corn. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. All right, guys, so that food was actually amazing for its price. Yeah. But now we are here at the indoor theme park. Just look at that. I think Very it's colourful. Like, well, I don't know if it's the world's first or just Malaysia's first mm. indoor theme park. So cool. Look at that. Again, it's not as busy, it's not crowded whatsoever. But we're just going to walk around here and dream that we can get get in <laughs> it's very pretty lots of bright lights it's cool and i love that there's like interactive boards on the ceiling yeah which makes it a whole new experience it doesn't actually feel like we're inside even though we are it's so cool i think it's because the ceiling's so high <laughs> oh my god look at that one look there's even a big bed <laughs> there's actually so much to do here yeah. maybe that's why like loads of people actually stay for the night mm. and i think as well this is kind of similar to like the uk center park so you could come here for a few days and do something different each day like there's bowling you could do cinema there's obviously indoor theme park outdoor theme park shopping literally everything so it's so good should we go should we go watch a movie? We could do. <laughs> Casino? Casino? Should we blow some money that we don't have? <laughs> Guys, there's even a zip line inside the mall. What the hell? Oh my god. That's so cool. This place is like on 
ultra modern. There's like billboards flashing everywhere. It's the kind of thing you'd see in like Times Square when we mm. went to New York. Yes. Like all these billboards everywhere. It's just insane. So much going on. So Zara's gone into the casino. They wouldn't let us both in because of the bag, which is a bit strange because half the people coming out here have a bigger bag than us, but oh well. But he went in for a quick look. It's been like 40 minutes and he's still not come out. So I'm wondering whether we're going to be rich or poor when he finally comes back. I hope he's not spent too much. I thought he was just going for a quick look, but he's obviously playing something. All right, so it was very intense in there. It's like those people were smoking, they were just sitting down and then they were like winning 2,000 um, ringgit, this and that. 2,000 so ringgit? Yeah. Wow. And I, and I was like, oh, I saw a roulette. So I, I, I was like, I sat down and then I was looking around and then I saw this old lady put some money in. So I put money in, tried to play, then it said it wasn't enough. Because roulette is easy, it's just black or white or something. So how much was the minimum then? I don't know, it says minimum five ringgit. And you put 20? I put 20, but no. it didn't work. So I was like, oh, I'll just cash out then. It wouldn't cash out. So I was like, I'm not losing my 20 ringgit. <laughs> but inside it's very tense, guys. There's like, it's mainly old people. But yeah, okay. and um, I was pressing the help button to get like some assistance because I couldn't get my money out. Like my 20 ringgit out <laughs> and um, it wasn't working, so I had to put my hand up and then those people were like, looking and they were like, what the hell is this kid doing here? <laughs> so yeah, it was quite intense. Like I couldn't take that much film because um, there's loads of securities walking around. So you're not allowed to film inside anyway, so. It's crazy though. People were literally coming out of there with suitcases and yet we weren't allowed in because of the backpack. Suitcases full of money, maybe. Maybe, who knows. Expensive. All right, so we had an amazing time here at Genting Highlands. Everything has been amazing. It was so fun as well. Yeah, we've literally spent the whole day just exploring, trying things, and it's honestly like a holiday village. There is so much to do. You could literally spend like four days here. There's just endless things, like there's spas, mm. there's bowling, there's zip lights. There's cinemas. There's so everything, everything, guys. Everything, and on the inside, it's like super modern as well, which is strange because from afar, it looks really old but then the minute you enter it's just like wow but anyway we're probably gonna start heading back to KL uh, we need to catch the cable car and then yeah so we'll probably see you in the car let's see if we get a good view on the way down so we didn't end up getting a good view because it was all foggy on the way back down which is such a shame but at least we got such an incredible view on the way up so our time here at the genting highlands has been amazing we literally got back in the hotel and we literally just passed out that's how good it was so if you've enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below it really does help us and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one peace